Trinity Episcopal Church isn't a church anymore. The property officially sold to Mark McGrody in early June 2022. The church needed about $2 million worth of preservation costs, which basically didn't generate a lot of income. You know, you had to have a use for the property that generated that cash flow. According to the project description, there will be a 29-room inn, 73-seat restaurant, and a 195-seat event space, while still allowing the current Trinity congregation to worship in the church. Anne Neno is the chair of Geneva's Industrial Development Agency and sits on the Geneva Planning Board. She has been familiar with the Trinity Project for about two years. It's a welcome addition to Geneva in the sense that it's taken a vacant building, which uh, is uh, quickly deteriorating and uh, turning into a useful and taxable entity. Mark McGrody has been in real estate development for about 40 years and started out with historic property rehabilitation. He believes that the rehabilitation of the church will bring lots of benefits. You know, we're, we're creating construction jobs. We have a job creation program. We hope to work with Hope Bar William Smith Art Department as well as F- FLCC's Art Department so that we can uh, showcase their art students' talents. Uh, throughout the inn and event space and restaurant. I just see that the economic benefits are huge. I am very hopeful that once it's completed and in operation, that any of the local opposition will find that it fits into the neighborhood and is a positive thing. Cameron Miller has been the priest of Trinity Church since 2016. He explained that the process took nine months trying to figure out how they could afford to keep the building. And that's when they met Mark McGrody in Buffalo and invited him to see the church. The congregation, you know, had some grief about having to leave it. By the time we did, there was a sense of excitement and uh, gratitude. Half the current congregation is new since this process started. You know, when, when McGrody finishes his inn, we have a lease uh, that says that we can worship there on Sunday mornings. We have both this contemporary space and we'll also have that more traditional space. Barb Rokow is one of the neighbors who is a part of the lawsuit with Trinity Church that went on for five years. It seems inconsistent with a house of worship to have a restaurant and um, an inn and possibly events going on, such as wedding receptions, uh, next to where people might be having church services. South Maine has the smallest percentage of single-family homes in the whole city. The rest of those are all either college-owned or they're Airbnbs and apartments. So the view of what South Main Street is, is is like their view of the church. It's not, it's not, it doesn't reflect reality. McGrody estimates construction will start in late 2022 or early 2023, and that it would last about 11 to 12 months before the inn would open in spring 2024. For FingerLakeSwan.com, I'm Megan Hatch.